In this video, I'll show you how to use the checklist feature in Project for the Web. In Project for the Web, there's an interesting little feature known as checklists. This feature allows you to add a checklist to tasks in your project. I really like this feature, and I've got some best practice recommendations that I want to offer to you. So let's get started. To begin using the relatively new checklist feature in Project for the Web, first select the task that needs a checklist. Then, for that task, click the Open Details button to open the Details side pane on the right. In the side pane, scroll down to the Checklist section and then click the Add an Item field. Start entering each of your checklist items and press the Enter key on your computer keyboard when finished with each item. So I need to secure the following core resources. I need one business analyst. I need three software developers. I need two software testers. And I need one desktop support person. By the way, while you are typing your checklist items, if you discover that an item is not actually needed and you need to remove it, float your mouse pointer over that checklist item and then click the Remove Checklist Item button at the right end of the row. Also do know that if you typed your checklist in the wrong order, you can move the checklist items around using drag and drop. To do that, grab the left end of the checklist item row on what looks like the little waffle icon. Click and hold your mouse button. Drag it into place. I'm actually going to move things around here just a little bit. And I'll make it look like that. There we go. Also do know during the execution stage of the project, to status the checklist items, all you need to do is to select the Mark Complete icon to the left of the checklist item. Notice that the section will tell you how many checklist items are completed out of the total number of checklist items. In my case, I've completed two out of the four. So that's how to use this relatively new checklist feature in Project for the Web. Well, now you know how to use the checklist feature in Project for the Web. As always, I trust you'll like, subscribe, and click that notifications button. But I do want to ask you a special favor. If there are videos about Project for the Web that you would like to see on my YouTube channel, please post your suggestions in the comments area down below. That will give me some ideas for future videos to produce. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.